let us take on the next question now this is hamza who lives somewhere in central india and works for a multinational corporation or a multinational company hamza has asked me a question he says that when a company declares dividend we hear about record date come date and ex date what are these dates can you please explain thank you hamza for asking this question it is my pleasure to explain this but before that let me tell you that there are certain dates which have a common meaning for all type of shareholders entitlement not only dividend but for other entitlements be it dividend or bonus shares or right shares rights issues or any other entitlement there are some dates which have a common meaning all right let me explain so whenever a company wants to give any entitlement to the shareholders like dividend or bonus shares rights issues any other thing please remember that whatever the company is giving you is basically your entitlement the shareholders entitlement company is only giving to its shareholders what rightfully belongs to the shareholders the company is not generating anything from thin air and giving it to the shareholders it is something which already belongs to the shareholders all right so but before giving somebody has to propose like the majority shareholders or maybe the management or maybe the promoter somebody has to make a proposal somebody has to propose that we want to get this thing or we want to give this thing some proposal all right but this proposal is only an idea a proposal does not become binding because the company does not belong to one person it belongs to the shareholders all the shareholders so a small group of people who are proposing cannot make it binding but after the proposal is made then there is a shareholders meeting and the shareholders decide by vote you see every shareholder has got a voting right if you hold one share the weightage of your vote is 1 if you hold 1 million shares then the weightage of your vote will be 1 million so depending upon how many shares you are holding you are entitled to cast that many vote or that much of weightage of votes all right so if a majority of the shareholders agree to a proposal then that proposal is said to be approved and it is announced or declared to the public that is called as the announcement date or the declaration date we'll talk about this in detail i am just broadly explaining to you and then once a declaration or an announcement is made that we are going to give you such and such entitlement then there has to be a cut off date for the eligibility because you see the shareholders will keep on changing this moment the share may be in your hand you sell it off so it goes into the hand of the other person the other person sells it off it goes into the hands of a third person so the shareholders will keep changing who should be entitled to this benefit the person who is holding the shares on a particular date and that is called as the record date this also will discuss in detail and then this entitlement whatever is declared or announced whether it is dividend bonus rights whatever that has to be paid or given to the shareholders on some particular date that date is also decided and that is called as the payout date all right there is something more to it let me explain these dates to you in detail with the help of a you know a timeline or a calendar like this and i'll do that in the next lesson all right